everybody welcome back to the channel as always doesn't matter who you are or how you found us we're glad you're here today is moving day yeah. so ha should have some people come in here in a little bit to help us uh, get started loading loading this thing here behind me so that should be plenty of fun uh, try to show you guys some of that stuff so uh, update I had shot some uh, video that I just was not uh, happy with. Um, that's the reason for the delayed uploads. I just was not happy with how the video uh, was turned out. Um, went to edit it and I was like, nope. So uh, what I may do is go ahead and uh, upload some stuff. What from the original order that I wanted to. So I've been kind of trying to stick to like the order I address things in, which is like uh, food and water, shelter, energy, then medicine. I was gonna post, post some stuff up on, you know, taking care of people um, during an emergency. Uh, but I may just go ahead and post up some stuff about defense uh, just to kind of get you guys some more content. But uh, bring you gone, bring, uh, can't talk today. It's cold out here. Uh, so I'll try to post some of that stuff up to get you guys some more uh, content there. And uh, I'm going to bring you guys along today for some of this loading all the joys of moving. So, uh, alright, enjoy the video. Alright, so... Anywho, guys, that's uh, the first day, <laughs> moving day number one. Uh, we got this stuff packed in here. Probably not an exciting video for most people, but um, like I said, Idaho, here we come. Mostly because of freedom. Yeah. Um, Virginia's been an awesome place to live, uh, but the mountains are calling and I must go higher peaks there so uh, I'm gonna go relax for tonight it is early November uh, as is my tradition yearly I'm gonna go watch V for Vendetta um, fantastic movie seems more relevant now than in uh, years past um, if you haven't seen it I encourage you to watch it it's based on a graphic novel uh, set in a dystopian future when it was made uh, but it takes place in 2020 um, about a totali totalitarian uh, government who took over during a an engineered uh, disease uh, that the country was facing um, and about how there's somebody who's uh, kind of letting that be known uh, but there's mass media control and uh, other things in the movie, so did it predict the future? I'll let you decide. Anyway, it's a good watch. Uh, if, nonetheless, if you like a little bit of uh, uh, action and adventure stuff. So uh, that, uh, again, that's day one of moving, and yeah. Catch you guys later. Yeah, so we filled this truck today through just about uh, right, right past that placard there. That guy is, yeah, so eh, maybe like half full, half full there. All right, whew, full day of moving, meant to get some footage. I didn't do it, didn't happen, but uh this truck is getting full this is probably at least like two-thirds or three-quarters full um, so man who has this much stuff I don't know who lives in this house they have a ton of crap don't know who it is and of course here we still got tons of uh, stuff here to uh, put Make sure we get in the truck here. Again, I don't know who lives here, who has this much stuff, but you can hear there's cleaning going on inside. Always nice to clean the place before you leave it for somebody else. 
Good morning. <laughs> Day two here of, uh, you know, the moving shenanigans here. It's where we slept last night on an air mattress because our mattress and bed frame were loaded yesterday. So, um, that air mattress is no friend to my back. Uh, but now that we're, I'm up, I've had some coffee this morning. Um, I'm going to be starting day two here. Uh, so, kind of going through the motions. First thing, I'm going to get out to the shed and sort through some tools or really just bring everything around to the truck to get that ready to start uh, start loading here. I'm going to keep try to keep the warm air in the rest of the house there. Helps if you unlock the door first. So headed out through the uh, around the back here. There's my shed. It's not very big. Ah, it's actually not as much stuff in here as I thought. Most of the ah, looks like a like Shelob's been in here. Giant spiders wrapped everything up. I think my father-in-law did that, but uh, we packing most of this stuff up today. Sell the lawnmower, I think. But, uh, should be a good day. <laughs> if I can get some more footage, uh, I will here, but uh, it might just be another end of the day thing like yesterday, depending on how fast things are moving. So I'll see you guys on the other side. Hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, just wanted to be out here where it's a little more quiet out here in the woods. It's day three of moving. Didn't really get you updated too much more yesterday. This is eventually now this is all going to be one video. So you get to see it all in one instead of a couple of short ones like I was intending. Uh, yeah, yesterday was a day working, worked hard, loading. It also is pretty uh, emotional, not only like the moving stuff and everything, but um, had some basically altercations, uh, verbal altercations with family that eventually had me uh, at one point for a brief second, like even wondering if this was uh, worth it or what, you know, what we're doing. Um, it is worth it. It's uh, kind of worked through all that now with, uh, you know, talking to God about it and and everything. Not going to air the family's uh, laundry here on the U of Tubes, but um, yeah, just if you're going to do something like this, just make sure you are ready because it's going to be probably stressful if you've got people coming to help you, especially family and stuff like that. Um, yeah, cross-country move is no joke, and... Just be ready, be ready to be patient with people and, you know, forgive and forget and uh, be appreciative for the help that's that's there, um, even if everything's not getting done exactly how you want to do it. So um, that's okay. We're going to we're going to get there. Um, God's going to take us there and um, yeah, hope to show you guys a few more. Uh, well, definitely show you the end result in the truck there. But that thing is filling up. Uh, it's amazing how much stuff you get in a house. I know people say that every time they move, how much stuff they've accumulated, but it's true. It's another thing. If you're going to move, uh, try to go through as much as you can before and get rid of stuff you haven't used in a while or that you really don't need. So, pro tip. All right. See you guys in a little bit. Morning. Well, it's morning here. I don't know if it's morning where you're watching, but uh, day five, seven, 
I don't remember of uh, moving. Haven't updated for a minute. I know you guys are gonna be watching this all in one, all in one go here. But uh, she didn't have the bandwidth to continue to uh, shoot video and load a truck and take care of all the other details. But we are officially. This place is empty. So kind of sad. Uh, this was a good house, uh, but we are moving on to better things. I don't know what the future holds, but I'm excited and scared. Uh, but uh, yeah, just going to be saying goodbye to the house here, and we're going to be hitting the road a little later uh, today. Bye bedroom, bye upstairs, goodbye downstairs, bye kitchen, goodbye garage, goodbye garden, goodbye house, goodbye neighborhood.